it's launch time. You're putting the final touches on your game, you set a launch date, but now it's time to promote. Wait, who do you tell? The 2-bit marketer will tell you to reach out to influencers like journalists and streamers and get their attention. Obviously. But there's a disconnect. Tweeting to a journalist does not entitle you to a review. Nor does throwing free copies of your game to a game streamer will suddenly get them to shoot a video for their subscribers. Here's a major reason why there's so many businesses that do the marketing for you. Because not only are many game developers doing the outreach wrong, they're doing it so badly that the influencers are fed up and saying, if you want my attention, it'll cost you $16,000. That's the disconnect. Now, how do we cross that bridge so influencers do pay attention, read your emails, and actually feel motivated to play? There are three components to successfully connecting with influencers. Organizing, connecting, selling. I do want to share that this is a very systems-based method. Connecting with influencers is an instant. It's a process that keeps you working on for weeks and weeks on end, just like you do with your game. The two processes go hand in hand. If you're watching and planning to launch in a few days, uh, and you're watching this video because you need to connect with an influencer immediately, this system is not for you. But you can still learn a lot and learn how to organize your campaigns in the future. Now, there are three components. Again, and they are, organizing, connecting, and selling. Each component could easily become a two-hour training, but for now, I'm going to cover each component on a shallow level, and in future videos, I'll go deeper into the actual systems involved. So let's begin. The first component is organizing. That can be done with a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, or using what is known as a customer relationship management system. Whatever tool you use, you'll be capturing their email, their name, their website, their web presence, any social media links, and any notes that might help you build a relationship with them in the future. How many people should you have on this list? Now, with salespeople, a rule of thumb is to expect a 1% to 5% conversion rate when it comes to cold emails. In other words, with a 5% conversion rate, you need to email 20 people just to get one person to say yes. But that's just a point of reference, and you're not a salesperson. So a 1% to 5% conversion rate should be much higher for you. Small time crunch indies I've worked with usually have a list of about 200 to 300 people that they can reach out to, but it's common to have 1,000 people to reach out to. Don't be scared by the numbers. Imagine if you found 10 influencers a day. After a month, that's 300 influencers you can reach out to. Just make sure they are a good fit for your game. You don't need to upset an influencer, say a Twitch streamer who only plays hardcore games like Dark Souls, by sending them a copy of your casual farming game. Because when it comes to influencers, quality over quantity. You only need a few successful connections to get the ball rolling. In a separate training, I'll explain more on how to find influencers that are a good fit. The second component is connecting. Putting someone on your email list just to spam them is both wrong and bad for business. You might get lucky and the influencer will read it, but more likely, they're going to hit the spam button. And that spam button tells your email platform to automatically tag all your future emails, so suddenly all your emails come out as spam. A better method is to approach them weeks or months before you want to ask for a favor for them. For example, if you're looking to get attention from a YouTuber, you're better off commenting on their tweets, replying and sharing their YouTube videos, giving them props publicly. Go out, be their biggest fan. That way, they might have some awareness that you exist, so when they do get an email from you, it's not out of the blue. The final component is selling. Giving your game away from free to influencers isn't a wonderful gift. Now, it doesn't cost money, but you know what? It costs them time, and time is a very valuable commodity. So you do need to sell them on why they should give you attention. When you finally email them to ask for attention, you'll need a great email subject headline, a captivating opening sentence, a solid elevator pitch that isn't buzzwordy or confusing, as well as a call to action to clearly explain what you want to do. The three components, again, are organizing, connecting, and selling. And each of these components, again, can be a two-hour video. There's a lot of variables at hand, but this is a big picture to help you understand the process. Having a strategy is great, but strategy doesn't mean squat if you cannot execute. Stay tuned. In a future video, I'll explain my strategy for reaching out to journalists, other influencers, and making things happen. 
Thanks again for joining us in Bite Size, business education for indie game developers. Short, bite-sized videos that provide real-world marketing, strategy, and education to busy indie game developers. No fluff, no ads, no need to donate. A special thanks to Capital City Television and their staff. This episode is sponsored by Serious Game Devs Only, the community to empower serious game developers like you with business education. So it becomes second nature, letting you focus on making a living with game development and building great games that people want to play.